Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys the best defensive settings you can use on NBA 2K22. So the following score you see is in 6 minute quarters on Hall of Fame versus the Lakers and you can see the entire defensive setting set up done in sequence here. I'll break down all of the details to you but here I just want you to see the on ball is good, the off ball is good, the press up court is good, even the pick and roll is good. Everything about these defensive settings is just lined up for efficiency and greatness. I guarantee you once you get good at this, you will get non-stop defensive stop 24-7 on any game mode, any difficulty during your grind. Alright? So if you enjoyed this video, please add me a like. And if you'd like to see more 2K22 tutorials and builds, you can click on the card above or the link in the description below and you will find my playlist of all 2K22 videos I have made all year long. And if you would like to chat or play together online, you can add my following show shows right here. So to get the most out of these defensive settings I'm about to show you, make sure you do learn the ODS on-ball defensive method to go with these settings. Uh, you can find that on-ball defense tutorial I have made in my 2K22 playlist. You can see here the majority of these possessions are all very successful with on-ball defense because I am using my ODS on-ball method here. So go learn that in the playlist and you can add that in with the settings. So here are the settings exactly. I'll break down each and set every single one of them in detail. But make sure your on ball is on smother so that you get really good closeouts. And you're gonna do the on ball yourself after anyway, so you can adjust. But make sure it's smother off the top, so great closeout. And in regards to your off ball pressure, you can set it to moderate on anyone that has a lower than B plus three pointer. If they have higher than B plus, you can set it to tight. The rest of the way, uh, baseline, and then everything else, I will break down in detail to you right now. But you can keep that screenshot for future reference. So let's start off with the key pick and roll defensive settings. You want to make sure stay attached is set to no, and then your on-ball screen and your hedge for center or for non-center is make sure it's on-ball screen is switched and then the hedge is on automatic. You do that, you're going to switch every pick and roll. And obviously you want a switchable team here, so the bucks are perfect for that. So as you can see, as a pick and roll develops here between uh, LeBron and AD, power forward, uh, I'm controlling Middleton, but because there's no stay attached, Giannis is already uh, hedging out getting ready for the switch and I'm controlling Middleton here so you always want to start off on ball and then you can see me purposely get under the screen knowing that Giannis is going to step up for me this is really important you must get under the screen first as the on ball defender then switch to the hedge defender who is switching up that little bit of uh, my using Middleton being under the screen will take away any roll as Giannis picks up on the switch and then when Giannis picks up I switch onto him and then I trigger the ODS and you can see the roll is taken out and when everything is combined like that that's a lockup right there. We switch the screen and we take away the fret. So you can see here again, there's another pick and roll. So starting off with the ODS to engage with Drew. And here comes that pick and roll, power forward, and we're gonna switch this too. So I'm guarding on ball with Middleton. I'm gonna stay on ball, get under the screen, get to an angle, knowing that the hedge defender is on no attach and he's gonna come up. Then I switch to him and I come up myself, bump the ball man with ODS, take that away, and then the switch is fine. And that's another lockup. The switch pick and roll settings are OP in this game, especially if you have the right lineup for it. But when you do execute the switch, you gotta do it like this. So you can see I'm on ball, I'm getting under the screen, taking away the row, then I'm gonna stay a little bit and then switch to the hedge and pick up ball. So now that Dwight Howard row is taken by that initial under action by me there. So we snuff out the row and then we take everything away. And then after that, it's just ODS rest of the way. Take what the offense gives you and just take away what they want. Now here you can see poor switch positioning during on-ball defense. So this is you doing, or this is me doing bad on that switch and not executing the scheme correctly and getting the most out of these excellent settings. You can see I'm on-ball here, but I didn't get under enough. I'm way too over, and that when you do that, you give up the split. You see how they dump the ball quickly to the roll man there, and because my initial on-ball defensive positioning was poor, I give up the slip. Same thing here again. A pick and roll is about to come. And you can see I'm guarding on ball once again in ODS, so that's excellent. But as the screen comes, you see I went over. That's too high. I need to be lower and flatter than that. I gave up the roll, and then because I panicked, I also gave up the drive. Gave up everything, but thank God it's Giannis, but that's poor positioning. Here you can see that good positioning. So as they work the ball around, there comes that pick and roll between LeBron and AD. I'm on ball as Middleton. I'm staying flat to the screen, not over at all. 
still in ODS and then as LeBron separates and uses the screen I'm gonna get a little bit under AD at an angle and then I'm gonna switch to a Drew so then I can pick up the ball and you can see Middleton bump AD a little bit right there and because the slips are kind of slow and the rolls are also a little bit slow this year that's enough to take that away and completely put yourself into a great advantage off that switch that's excellent switch pick and roll that this will snap out all pick and rolls if you can switch it properly so same thing coming off a handoff I get on Boaz Giannis, there comes that screen. I'm flat to the screen, I'm not over. Ju is staying no attach, hedging out. I'm gonna stay a little bit as the hedge defender as Bobby Porter's. Just kind of take away the split a little bit, let Giannis recover, pick up ball. That's another excellent positioning. So try these out for pick and roll, especially switch settings with the under. And uh, you can put it in the comment section, let me know how it goes. So moving away from pick and roll settings, let's look at off ball settings. So you want to set the off ball screen to uh, switch all and at the same time also uh, switch rules off ball. And the post defense you want to add a free quarter to the bottom like you saw earlier. And if you do that, this is what's going to happen. So you can see any off ball action that happens. You can see that at the uh, left block right there. And that action is switched because this screen happened. And because this is a switch friendly roster, I'm just going to take this. And because we have the ODS, the key is, is because we have the ODS. So then we can take these mismatches that are not that significant or not that detrimental and we can survive for it. So same thing again, here's a rub screen action at the left elbow. And you can see Middleton is behind the play here. So I got kind of got stuck. Giannis immediately picks up for me. And that's an excellent switch. And then now we got Middleton on Melo. That's totally fine. They swing the ball around. And that's, we take away that threat. Otherwise, if that wasn't a switch, that's an easy dunk for LeBron. Same thing here again. There is that pin down on the left side as you see it develops. But because the screen was no threat, sometimes they don't switch. And that's good, right? They only switch if the screen is a threat. So on that previous play, the middle time wouldn't work. No switch here. And same thing on up top, Giannis didn't need to switch. And we're still an ODS on ball. So that's why these switch off ball settings are so good. They don't actually trigger unless it's threatening enough for a switch. So that's perfect. Perfect settings. And here you can see, like I mentioned earlier, the post is on three quarters bottom. This is going to give you very good help positioning from your bigs if anyone's in the paint. And most importantly, it's going to get you some easy steals. So you can see here the play develops. There is that off ball screen at the elbow, and that's a threat. So you can see uh, Bobby Porter is going to switch with DiVincenzo. And now on the left block, left elbow, DiVincenzo is on AD, so that's a mismatch post. But because of the three quarters bottom defense, he actually kind of gets in front of his lazy pass. These will get stolen, even Hall of Fame, it doesn't matter. So three quarters bottom defense rest for sure. And also, when you're running this all switch on pick and roll and all switch off ball, make sure you keep all your matchups in auto. And this will give you insane transition defense because they will switch all the matchups. So you can see as the transition happens, there are no leaks. So initially uh the ball is picked up here and then Giannis picks up ball and then Middleton kind of detached Bobby Porter's guard too Dwight dives Bobby Porter's pick up the paint Giannis goes back up to gets AD Middleton now picks up ball so that's because it's all switch and auto matchups also gives you great D transition D and make sure you set it to full court press uh to manage your stamina you don't want to do it all game but you do want it to do it at spurts of uh, the whole game if you got two you know five man lineups but you can see why you want to do that is uh, this possession you can see this is just a regular full court press but if you got the ODS method and a good on ball defender it just adds a lot of pressure off the top and it's gonna end up especially against AI they're gonna rush their offense so if you're grinding my team domination and my career that's gonna help a ton and secondly what you can do is you understand that LeBron's the inbounder switch to the inbounders defender and then double team the on ball guy or the point guard that you don't want to get the ball. See, I didn't want Russell to bring it up because I want Holiday to pressure Rondo. So you see, I doubled with Middleton there, and now I get what I want. I get this Holiday bump up the court. Same thing here again. Melo was inbounding, so I'm gonna use Giannis and just not let them bring the ball up because I want them to attack you Holiday up court. So I'm forcing them to who to inbound to. And you can also do this against really good handlers. Like if I don't want LeBron to have the ball bring up the court, I'm gonna do that method, right? Where I control the inbounders defender and shade the guy. And as you can see, if you bump them up court like this, they're just gonna rush and take really bad shots. So that's really good for grinding. And in this last clip, you can also see, I'm just straight up doubling, right? Like now I'm rushing them. Full court press, I'm just gonna straight double, and I hope they throw a really bad pass. And they rush it because it's pressed, we get the steal. That's beautiful work.
So to sum it up, these are definitely the best settings I have came across so far in the game. Now obviously you're gonna need the right liner for it, but that's just the development of the game, right? It's such a good game, these settings are so good, but you need a specific team, so that makes sense. If you want to shoot on offense, you gotta get a good shooter. And if you want to run a defense like this, you don't need great defenders across the board, but you need switchable defenders. So make sure you get those, or use a team that has it, or run a lineup that you can do this in a spurt of the game. It doesn't have to be too extreme, even like a front court like Bobby, Porters and Giannis can pull this off because you have the ODS. The key is we have the ODS on ball method so we can get away with a lot of switches and that's what this whole thing is about. We're trusting in our ability to switch and we know we can get away with it because we get the ODS, alright? So try this out, let me know how it goes for you. Hope you guys uh, enjoy it and uh, there will be more follow-up settings to this. I'll do defensive settings for all kinds of different lineups but today is going to be an all-switch one. So as always, uh, thanks for coming by. I will leave my show shows and the overall settings at the end of the video so you can see it and just reference it yourself. So yeah, I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.